What's up guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys a brand new drugstore foundation and concealer. Now this foundation and concealer combo has been overly hyped across YouTube, across social media. I have been seeing it everywhere. And you guys actually have been shooting me DMs to ask me if I would be reviewing this foundation and concealer. And so I was just debating if I want to do it or not, but it is drugstore. And you guys know that I love, love, love finding good drugstore options. So I figured why not go ahead and give it a try. So that is going to be the new L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Okay, so it looks like this. And in the past, I have loved the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, no, the just the matte foundation, liquid foundation. And I've also loved the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. Love those two. Um, so hopefully this is even better than that. And so I believe that I'll get into like what it claims to do in a second, but here's foundation. And I end up getting the shade 510, it does, oh, 510 Hazelnut. So it looked pretty close to my skin tone in the store. So we'll see like what happens, but it, the next one looked a little bit too dark, so we'll see if that's the correct match. And then I also picked up the new L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. And this one I got the shade 410 Almond. Okay, so foundation color and then concealer color. And in my opinion, the concealer shade range, I wasn't like too, too pleased with because I felt like it was just this shade and like the next one was like way too dark for me. So it's like I kind of had to like just pick with this one. So hopefully this one here works because I thought like the next lighter one was too light if that makes sense so we'll see just kind of playing it by ear here but we'll see if those work okay so this one here comes in one two three four five five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty shades okay and it claims to be our most lightweight breathable long wear foundation it claims to be an up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation that provides medium to full buildable coverage that lasts all day and allows the skin to breathe. The formula's three oil absorbers <laughs> resist sweat, water, and transfer. The ultra thin liquid goes on smoothly to give a fresh, healthy looking complexion that lasts. So we will see about that. This one also does come with SPF, I believe it's SPF, SPF 25. Which is good, especially for the summer, because you guys know summer is right on the corner. Um, and like having a foundation that has SPF in it is really good. So that is the foundation and then the concealer. Concealer claims to shape, cover, contour. Y'all know I love a good full coverage concealer. Um, this one says that you can wear it for up to 24 hours. It's the highest coverage formula in our widest concealer shade range ever. And the concealer itself comes in, one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 20, 25 shades. So this multi-use formula provides full coverage to the flawless matte finish. It conceals imperfections while doubling as a contour highlight product. And you shape by your face by going one or two shades deeper to contour, one or two shades lighter to highlight and brighten. So we will see about that as well. So just hopping right into it, my face is already prepped and primed. So I prepped my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and the Eye Rescue under my eyes. And then I went ahead and primed my skin with my Becca Ever Matte Primer my holy grail forever, and also my Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer just to kind of fill in those pores. And I just prefer to just go ahead and use my normal primers with, you know, new foundations, just because I know whenever I actually wear it, I'm gonna use these two anyway. So I would rather just go ahead and test it with the primers I'll actually be using. So, okay, so here is the foundation. You guys know I love foundations that come in pumps. So that is already great. As you can see, I did swatch it a little bit earlier. So I think it matches, but I haven't put it on my face yet. So I'm going to pump this in the back of my hand. Whoa, it's really liquidy. So it's definitely on a liquid side. Look at that. It's very, very liquidy, um, which is, I guess is a good thing, especially since it's which I guess is a good thing since it is claiming to be more of a lightweight foundation. So kind of dabbing this all over. It does have a strange scent to it. Like it's not a, like it doesn't smell bad. It's more pleasant, of course, but it has a very light, pleasant scent. Kind of like a rosy perfume scent, like a floral scent, if that makes sense. Okay, so I applied that all over. Gonna take my blending brush and some Fix Plus, spray my brush, and then just blend this in and see what happens. Okay, so color looks great. As far as color matching goes, that's definitely the right shade for me. And again, this is the shade Hazelnut. 
Ooh. Ooh. Okay, coverage. Oh, okay. I'm liking what I've seen so far. And this is definitely full coverage. Like to me, it's not even like in the description it said that it was medium to full. This is just full coverage to me, in my opinion. You guys, this looks really good. And it dries down. If you don't like a matte, matte finish, you won't like this one. Because this one definitely dries down matte. Like there's no glow or anything in my skin. Like it's definitely just straight up matte. Even here under my eyes, like... And you guys know that this is where I typically struggle with covering like those little spots under my eyes. But even under here, it looks really good. And no lie, it does feel very lightweight. Which is why I'm so surprised as far as like how full the coverage is for like how it feels. Because typically a lot of times, really full coverage foundations tend to be a little bit heavier. And like you can feel them on your skin. This one I can't at all. Only thing is like it's a bit pricier, especially for drugstore. I believe the foundation itself is like $14.99 or $15. So for drugstore to me, that's a little bit pricey. And that I don't like about it, but you know, pay for what you get, I guess. Okay, so far I'm liking it. Next up is going to be the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Okay, shade is cool. And I believe the concealer itself was maybe like 10 or $11. So even the concealer itself was expensive for a drugstore. I'll let you guys know at the end if I think it's worth the price because it is a little bit pricier. I just wish this shade here was a little bit more yellow. And granted, there may be other shades that they didn't sell in the store that I went to because I went to the grocery store to pick this up. So maybe there are shades in between there that could be a better match for me that they just didn't sell there. I feel like this shade is cool, but I feel like it has a little, like little hints of a cooler undertone. So it's a little bit more of a, not like a gray undertone, because it's not really gray, but I wish it were a little bit more golden, if that makes sense. That to me, it's kind of complements my skin tone a little bit better. But as far as consistency goes, it's like really, really creamy. And that I do like. Okay, so here I have a damp beauty sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and look at this coverage. Ooh, that coverage y'all, I think it might be worth it. And you guys know that like for me, the concealer is where I prefer like, like I can do like with the light to medium coverage foundation, but I love a good full coverage concealer. Like if my concealer is not full coverage, I don't like, like I don't like it because I need it to cover up everything cover up any spots. I need it to kind of help smooth it all out and kind of cover up those like dark circles. Like if I haven't gotten a lot of sleep and I want to kind of even it out, kind of fluff out my under eye if I have some bags, like I need it to work, okay? So looking at this coverage, you guys, look, like look how smooth my under eyes look. Like you can't see any of my bags. You can't see any of my spots. You can't see anything. Like, that's definitely full coverage. Like, tart shape tape level full coverage, in my opinion. And it's, what, like, half the price of it? So this, I am loving. I love that. Like, I'm probably loving this just as much as I love the, um, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. The only thing, though, is that I still prefer the shade of the shade Golden. And that concealer versus the shade almond this. I just wish this one just had a little hint more of a golden undertone. That's all it's missing in my opinion. Cause it's like a little bit too cool for me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set that with my RCMA no color powder. All right guys, so that is my concealer in the foundation so far. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my entire face and then of course throughout the day, I'll go ahead and give you guys updates and then of course give my final thoughts after a couple hours. <laughs>
and finished the rest of my face and here is the final look. So I went ahead and used the Picante palette from Carity on the eyes, um, a few Milani lipsticks on the lips. I also set my entire face with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder just to kind of see how all the products work together. Um, you know, just to see if it'll keep me matte throughout the day. Um, of course, it blush, highlight, lashes, all that good stuff. And here is the final look. So as far as my thoughts on the foundation and concealer, so I'll do foundation first. Foundation so far, I am loving. I do think that it's definitely a really good match to my skin tone. You guys, look at that. Like, that's darn near spot on. Um, so color match, this hazelnut shade is perfect. It's probably one of the better matched drugstore foundations that I do have. Um, I feel like drugstore foundations can be a bit tricky to find your exact shade. And a lot of times you may have to like mix, you know, two of them to get your perfect shade. This one here is probably one of the best matches from the drugstore that I have found as far as for my skin tone. So um, color match wise, it looks really good. Um, love the coverage. And I also love the way that it feels like that lightweight airy feeling. I definitely do think that it is breathable if that makes sense because my skin feels like it can still breathe. And I actually feel like I can go hours with this on and like not get annoyed with this. So that is a really huge plus as well. It looks very high end um, and great coverage and quality. So foundation so far is a two thumbs up. I'm loving it. Concealer, I love the consistency of it and I love the coverage of it. Talk about full coverage y'all. This bad boy here, no lie, is definitely a full coverage, full glam. Not even full glam, but like if you wanna cover up everything, this is a good one. My only gripe again with it is just the shade. I feel like this shade here, Almond, and I can kind of tell in the store that it would be this way, just kind of looking at it, kind of tells a little bit more on the cool side. I just wish that there, um, and there very well may be one, but I just need a shade that has a little bit more of a yellow or golden undertone, just to better complement my skin tone and give me more of the look that I want. Like, I feel like this still looks good in my opinion, like it looks, great actually but it's just it's like a small thing it's just at the tone that's under here I wish it was a little bit more yellow or golden that's the only thing about it but as far as the consistency I loved how creamy it was I loved the full coverage um and I love just like honestly how it looks I feel like both the foundation and the concealer both work really well together and it really settles into the skin so that we're like it's giving full coverage but it still looks like skin and it looks very 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 natural and that's why I like both of these together. It is 10 54 a.m maybe like after work so like maybe like 5 36 ish and give my final thoughts on that so stay tuned for my update what's up guys so it is now 506 so it's been i believe what i applied to like 10 54 10 almost 11 o'clock not i can't remember anyways but i think it's been about six hours so just looking at the foundation now in this mirror um this is definitely one of those foundations that looks better the longer you wear it um, looks even better the longer you wear. I mean, it looked good originally, but now it looks really, really good. I personally like a little bit of oil and a little bit of shine, just a little bit, just because I feel like that oil really helps to break down the foundation even more and like make it look even more natural, which right now it's doing just that. So I am honestly really liking the way it looks, liking the finish of it still. It's still definitely very full coverage. Like it's not breaking down or anything like that. Um, excuse my under eye here, you guys. My eye was so watery earlier. Like it just kept, it's like I was crying basically because it kept tearing up on this one eye. So it's kind of crazy. Like all of this is basically gone. But as far as foundation goes, it still looks great. Um, concealer is the same thoughts basically. I love the fact um, that it's full coverage. It still looks really good and it still looks really natural. Um, and it hasn't creased up or anything in here. It just looks like both together, it looks really, really good. Now I'm looking here, okay, this is one huge plus. Is I'm looking here at my laugh lines. You guys know I do have laugh lines. And that's kind of like always my test as far as like how the foundation wears. Like, yes, they're there. Don't get me wrong. Like, they're definitely there. But they're very, very faint for me to have been wearing it for six hours. That is definitely a huge plus. Um, even oil control. Like, I'm a little bit oily here, which is where I always get the most oiliest. So like my nose area, but that's honestly about it. 
usually I get the most oiliest here in my nose and then here in my lower cheek area and that usually happens like within like the first like two hours honestly because I can get really oily but you guys I don't have any oil down here so that's good I just got it right around here in my um on my nose but even my forehead looks good like I don't have any oil there so all in all in my opinion I would definitely recommend the foundation again I hate that it is a bit pricier especially for drugstore and because I do believe there are foundations out there that are good as well from the drugstore that are cheaper so whether or not I think it's worth the money I'd say yes if you are looking for like a really good high-end alternative but if you're a beginner or like just building your makeup stash and want to stick to a budget you can just pass on this one because like it's it's good but if you're like just working with like drugstore makeup and kind of like getting you know your feet wet in the makeup world then this is not a necessity does that make sense concealer love the consistency love the formula love the coverage i still just wish that the actual shade had a little bit more of a yellow or golden undertone you can kind of tell here i think it has more of just like a neutral undertone i find this is probably gonna be more considered a neutral undertone because you see how like it's not yellow it's not really golden you know but it's not really great either it's just kind of flat and like i like a little bit of, just a little hint of yellow in there and i will actually be on the lookout for a better shade like a shade that's like in that general family that is a little bit more yellow um but as far as just the coverage of it coverage is amazing it blended out amazing and i recommend that as well however it's the same concept with the foundation as far as figuring out if it's worth it to you because i believe that the concealer itself was like 11 dollars, i think so that is still like 10 11 dollars so that to me is still pricey. So I would say between the foundation and the concealer, I would just say pass on the concealer and get the foundation. Makes sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and wear test. Honestly, I was going to wear it for a little bit longer, but just seeing like how well it's holding up at six hours, like I don't foresee it changing very much in the next two hours. I personally only really wear makeup for an eight hours maximum, but I feel like kind of seeing how it looks now after six hours lets me know that in an hour and 45 lets me know that in another hour and 45 minutes it'll still look you know the exact same or close to it so i hope you guys enjoyed this review and rear test of the new l'oreal foundation and concealer if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys